Hello everybody, it is Gun Sage, and it is time for more Too Spoopy. So, I realized that I was playing a lot of horror-themed games, and not legit horror games. I felt that uh, people might be waning in interest. So, for those of you that are in that boat, let's, let's tackle something a little more classic. Something a little... a little scarier. Like, waiting on loading. Or if a game even fucking works. Okay. Okay. Cool. There are violent and disturbing... Disturb, disturbing? Images in this game. Yeah, I know. Back when Konami actually meant something. Kazit! Kazoom tight. The fear of blood tends to create fear for the flesh. Okay. Oh, and it just you know, found a baby in a graveyard. It's all good. No pass, right? I don't think I ever really realized that. Before. Yeah, you're a cop and you passed on a no pass. Awesome. Mythos behind Cheryl doesn't really make a whole lot of sense either. Um, especially after you played Silent Hill 3. What they're trying to do there. Okay. Now, I remember a little bit about this game. It has been a while since I've played it. So I will probably fuck a lot of things up. I will try not to. Yeah, let's do this. Resident Evil, I mean Silent Hill. Yeah. Oh. Game's a bit dated, but still pretty fucking great. I'm fucking tripping on mushrooms or some shit. I think it's cool they did this all on one disc. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Hello? Casper! Cheryl. Oh, it, it will let me control with the... Um, kinda lets me control with the analog stick. Uh, not really. It doesn't work very well. I gotta get my bearings here. Oh, the map for this place can come on. Hmm. Footsteps. Not 
sure what's up with the Atari Cheryl? sound effects. Is that Cheryl? Uh, I mean, I guess. Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! Okay, how do I run? Okay, it's the square button. They set up the atmosphere perfectly in this game. Even dated, it's still creepy as shit. Beware of Cheryl. Oh. Somebody's not having a good time. Oh, well, recent at least the rest of the alley is normal. It's you know, fine. Sounds like we got a police siren in the distance or something. than nothing, I guess. Yeah. This makes a recurring appearance. Oh. What's this? Uh, it looks like a gurney to me, bro. Run like a bitch, run like a bitch simulator, run like a bitch, you get to run like a bitch. Oh, blocked by a fence. And that is when his Super Saiyan powers awakened, and he took out the childlike zombies. Run like a bitch, run like a bitch, run like a bitch, you run like a bitch. Okay. What? What's this doing here? You silly goose, what are you doing here? Oh no! Oh! Roach him boat to death! Da 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 da! Okay. because I knew you were looking at my tits. Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. That you from around by a here? Truck? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh-huh. Okay. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month. Short, black hair. My daughter. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Well, that's great. Hmm. Hmm. What's your name? 
Harry. Harry Mason. Harry, Harry, Boberry. Sybil Bennett. Ah, <sighs> Sybil, Sybil, Bobbitt. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. Brams. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Voice acting is not so great. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? What? My daughter. I've got to find her. Wherever the fuck I want. You ain't the boss of me. No way. What? Seriously? It's dangerous out there. Why? Why is it dangerous out there? In that case, I need to find her now. Yeah. Cheryl's my little girl. Yep. Reasonable. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Why, why would I have a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. This is not protocol, lady. And don't do it unless you have to. You'd be suspended or fired and or don't some shit. don't me by mistake. What? what? Why Got would it? I? <sighs> yeah, thanks. You don't think about these things when you're a kid playing this. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Yeah, okay. That's how the world works! Police just hand you guns! Where's the health drink? Take it. Really? A health drink. There's a flashlight. Take it. Yeah. I want to play. Pinball machine. Nothing unusual. I want to play. Someday, someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully, they will find my notes useful. What bizarre events? Oh, you mean the thing where you thought you were fucking dreaming, but you're not really dreaming, but you thought you were dreaming, but you're not really sure if you were dreaming or not? Those bizarre events? Why would you write those down? Residential area map. Yeah. Oh. There's something there. Now... Um, okay. So... Let me... Okay. I'm trying to remember... Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I've got that equipped. Okay, that's how you do it. Looks like he's getting ready to do the time warp again. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the knife. Probably won't use it, but I'll take it. The radio. Is it broken? Can't hear anything. Okay. Cool. Well, <laughs> this has been a blast! I'm out. What's that? I love this. Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Harry, you silly bitch. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Well, you know what? Let's grab the radio. Yeah. Uh, how do I reload? Not like that, apparently. How do I reload? Sir, how do I reload? Oh, I don't have any extra ammo, that's why. That's really not good. Well, then, I think we better use that kitchen knife. That's not good at all. Let's get used to these controls real quick. 
Okay. That's goofy. Part of the fun of this game... Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. Okay. So... Part of the fun of this game is discovery. There's a lot of things to figure out. Oh, here we go. Yeah! You know... Boy, I tell you what, people just leave the damnedest things out. Boy, the other day, just, I'm walking down the street, I found an AK-47. Can you believe that? That was amazing. Hey, off. What, I can't fight him like that? Oh, that's bullshit. Okay. And I'm sure there's some way to reload. Where is he? What a dick! Oops, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to reload. How to do it though. There's seriously no way to reload? There's no. Okay. It's somewhere. Hmm. Okay. You get, uh, rated on your performance. Kick him! Yeah! Show that bitch who's boss. Better reload. Yeah. It's not like it takes a long time to go to the menu or whatever, but... It's Gotta be a way to reload, though. That's that's just stupid. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can fight these guys with the kitchen knife because you're not really given a whole lot of ammo to start with. Whoa! Easy there, Fido. Am I even? Are you fucking kidding me? It's not even... Am I just not timing it right? Hey, there we go. Ah, fuck this. Oh, I'm already in the orange. That's not good. Yay! So I just let me take a break. Get a drink. He's such a nice monster. You sit your ass down. So one thing I do remember about this is you really, really want We're dog. Uh-huh. You wanna um you wanna kinda search really well, really thoroughly, to make sure you find ammo, because, as you can see, the knife is not an acceptable alternative. At least in Resident Evil, the knife works. This is just pathetic. Although, the good news is you do get other close-range weapons that are actually decent, so I'm not too upset. Let's just leave all our handgun bullets all over the fucking place. That's good. To school. Isn't the Cheryl sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. I guess. 
One thing I love about uh, Silent Hill games, in general, not just the new, you know, the, the older ones, is they will try to make the most mundane places creepy as fuck, and they do a damn good job of it. Sketchbook cover. This picture, it's me. Your daughter is not an artist, sir. The first picture that Cheryl drew in, her, in, in the sketchbook that I gave her on her fifth birthday. No. No. She's still a shitty artist. She's not deviant art material, sir. Well, the steel pipe is actually way, way better than... Yeah, whatever. It's a little slow, but it's not bad. Yeah. That's right. You can hold down the attack button. You get a stronger swing. Yeah, okay. I like the steel pipe. I like it a lot. I was gonna... Well, just now I was getting ready to go ahead and talk about the second one, and then I realized, you know, I might... Just might be able to get the second one to work on here. Not because my computer's garbage, but just, you know, that's not what I'm worried about. Just not sure where I'd find it. Okay... So now, it's a matter of getting there. And if you've played Silent Hill before, any of the Silent Hill games, you know that the journey of getting there is not always as obvious as it seems. Well, fuck you, then. Just run. What about that? I'm not trying to avoid battles, just... Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on moving toward the school until I find uh, the pits. Because I know I'm going to find them. It's a staple of the Silent Hill genre. Or, well, I can't say genre. But you know what I mean. Oh. Yep, it's a pit. Doghouse, Levin Street. Okay. So, we got a pit. The nice part is they mark it on the map. So, you don't constantly run into the stupid, sh you know, same old shit. Now, let's see. So, that's to my left. Cool. I'm on easy mode, so the monsters really aren't that big of a threat anyway. gives you a good idea of what we're dealing with. Come on! Are you serious? Get that motherfucker! Yay! We're not done. Let's see if I can make this happen. Let's see if I can make this happen. Oh, I didn't make it happen. House key was hidden in the doghouse. Take it. There's a picture online. <laughs> the dude investigates the doghouse at just the right moment. So he's like, huh, the doghouse. I wonder if there's a dog around and the dog is like leaping at him. It's, just, it's hilarious. All right, I don't know what the key is for. Let's see if it has any writing on it. Uh, house key. Oh, no. I know that. Maybe it's for that house? Let's find out. Use the house key. Oh, it is. Cool. Well, how about that? Yeah, I'll take your shit. Breaking and entering and all that. Yeah, 
Yep. Save. Boy, that's where you should leave your bullets. Right there on the fucking table. It's a great idea. I realize that might get old. It's just it. Looking back on some of these survival horror games now, I'm like, really, really, really. What do we got? There are three locks. Well, but something is written on the map, hanging on the wall. Keys for Eclipse. What do I need car keys for? Okay, copied it to the map. Why would you lock yourself? What? Why would you? Why? Oh boy! Like, look, man. Some of these puzzles, I get it. I mean, Resident Evil is the same way to a degree, but it's just so weird. You you can't explain some of these puzzles. You really can't. Like, when you got, like, a, a spooky mansion, like, an Alone in the Dark, it's like, well, yeah, okay, but there's, like, supernatural shit going on. I'm a little more inclined to believe stuff. You know, you gotta be a little more open-minded. With Resident Evil, it's a little hard, because it's like, um, why would you ever design your mansion this way? Or why would you ever design the police headquarters this way? And then, of course, with Resident Evil 3, it's like, what the fuck is wrong with your whole fucking city? Seriously. This is not the way you construct a city, sir. Yeah, they just kind of give up eventually. Uh, okay, fine. Oh, I, I, I started to talk about it a little bit ago, and I didn't actually finish my thought. Okay, it's a pit. That should be marked now. Ow! Oh, there's nothing over here. I thought there was. Oh, he's, he's not in the air? Sweet! <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah! That's what you get! You get rated on how accurate you are with different weapons. Um, how often you fight with certain types of weapons and so on. So, one way to raise that rating... In the final boss fight, you can uh, actually walkthroughs will encourage you to do this. Deliberately stay back in one corner, the furthest away from the boss, and keep firing blindly with your handgun. Because your accuracy will be very high, since you basically can't miss the boss, it's so huge. And, yeah. Okay, so... Well, then it takes forever to kill the boss with the handgun, so... That's the idea, basically. Oh! Alright. Nope. Still no idea why it's making a pig noise. But hey, whatever. Um, why was that circled then? Like, what's what's here that's important or interesting? There's nothing. There's literally fucking nothing. As far as I can tell. I don't know. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Looks like there's an alley. I'm sorry that I didn't entirely commit the map to memory. photogenic memory, or whatever. Alright, is this it? I think so. There's a cafe, and other shit. I gotta say that everything this game did for horror 
Silent Hill did it ten times better. Off limits. Well, that means we just go right in, right? That's how it works. You know, tomato, tomato, and all that. Oh, that's fun. A dog's head. Yay! Okay. Key of the Woodman. Woodman. Alright, so... That's not what I meant. Well, I gotta approach the cafe from the other side, maybe? But that's what it is. Playing some b ball outside of the hood, and the dog's head, and there was a key, and yeah. I don't think that's the same song we're thinking about. That's a little macabre for a light hearted comedy. I've also heard it pronounced macabre, that's how I used to say it. Caber. Macabre. Something. Nothing. Fucking nothing. Yay, it's nothing. Okay. Well. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, okay. That's great. I was already written on the map previously. I got you now. Alright, so... I, I still don't understand why that area was circled. I'm gonna go back there. I must have missed something. They don't just circle shit on the map for the hell of it. There are defi definitely some troll-worthy... That, did that say Poston Market? It did. There are definitely some troll-worthy games that'll try to mess with you in different ways. This really isn't one of them. It's just kind of very as-is. There are traps. There are tricks. But nothing that's that would be considered, like, unfair. I guess. Oh. I guess I gotta come from the other angle. Well, the real question is how I'm gonna do that exactly. Hmm. Alright, so if I recall correctly, what was on there was the circle, that line. Which, okay, clearly the circle is where we get one key, the line's where we got the other, and then there was also the arrow. Go ahead and check out the arrow real quick. Nope. You want me, you're gonna have to land. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. What's cool about this game is, you know, enemies, they appear off screen. Just outside your view. They do it constantly and often, and it's very, uh, it's very off-putting. It's deliberate in nature, and it's, it's just, it's excellent. It really is. Okay. Key of the lion. Is the other one going to be the key of the scarecrow? Or wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the scarecrow. That's right. Because the Wizard of Oz. You get it? Okay. I think Harry actually wanted to come here because he was intending to run a 10k and he's kind of super bummed that nobody else showed up, but. Well, he's gonna fucking do it. Because he cares about his health, motherfucker! Oh, and his daughter sometimes. I, 
guess. I do like how he's running. Like. It's like he's like running to the bathroom. Like he's clenching his asshole. Like, oh no, 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 Work your glutes. That should be a puppy. Uh, hey. Oh, okay, you're just gonna be like that, huh? That's right. I gotta kick him. Kick him. That's one area where I think Resident Evil did it better, is you can tell, um, you don't have to constantly dip into the menu. You can tell when you're about to die. And take corrective action. Oh, come on! Oh! Yeah, boy. Alright. Uh, yeah, you better take something, bro. You don't look so good. I know that I'm going to have to go and get that key somehow before I can, um, you know, traverse this small house. Whoa! Didn't see that. the one fault I will give Silent Hill is you do this a lot where you're just trying to figure out how the fuck to get from A to B. Okay, I get it. Did we determine that there was also a pit over here? I think we did. Might not be, actually. Let's keep going. Come on. There's a pit here. Hmm. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to get to that house, then? One of those alleys has got to go ahead and come back around there. That's the only thing I can think at this point. You know, since we're up here, let's go ahead and check these, uh... Looks like there were some side areas up here. I can tell. Yes, I'm slaloming around the trees, because I can. Whee!
Oh. My car. Too banged up to drive. Now wait a minute. Wait, wait a fucking minute. Okay, I get it. You got in a car accident. How the fuck did you... Okay, look. Look, 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 look. Oh, I guess it's not that far away, is it? I thought it was... Okay. I'm just being stupid. What the hell? Streets block. Can't get out of town here through here. Well... Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be Silent Hill if you could actually get out, but... Oh wait. Hey, let's let's uh, do this, Harry. No. Damn it, Harry. Oh. Let's go in here. Why not? Cozy, even. Not really. Bunch of fucking punk ass vandals knocking shit over my fucking store. And no, I totally did not remember this from previous playthroughs. This is an area that you can just kind of stumble upon. Just like I did. Just now. There's even a little uh, diary here you can save right there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Alright, so what we're going to try to do is take that alley all the way through. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's right, we did go through the cafe. Okay, I'm, I'm an idiot. I keep on getting distracted by the cafe. We're going to try to take this path, see if we can go through there, too. If not, we'll see if we can go through there. But somehow we have to loop back around and grab that, and then we can proceed. Basically. That's the plan! Shop S smart. Don't just shop smart. Shop S smart. Okay, so. By the way, I'm not trying to be a chicken pussy. It just it's so easy to do that. Just run. Especially because I'd rather save my ammo for situations where I really need it. And those guys are not fun to fight when they're in the air. And don't try to tell me this needs to be more combat focused because I will fucking kill you. That's what homecoming was, and my god. Uh, fuck. Oh, hey, you know what? Is there anything over here? Can't go through there, can I? Difficulty understanding how exactly I'm supposed to get this key. It's right there. Oh! I'm a moron! Sorry, folks! Fucking. I hate it when that happens. When you, like, obsess over something because you think you've got to solve it a, a different way and then you end up being. Fucking wrong as hell. All right, so not this avenue, but the next one, basically. Dun 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 dun. I think we got one more, don't we? 
Oh look, he's doing the running man! Ha. 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 I really want to at least get to the school before I run out of my hour here. I should be able to. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. I mean, if you would land and quit being a bitch, show you what I can do with this pot. Give you a piping hot execution. Sage, that didn't even make sense. Control harder. Okay. No, no, no. Whatever. I'll erase it later. Yeah. Because he instinctively knows which ones go where. It's unlocked. Let's go. What? It's getting dark again. Harry's forgotten how days work. What's going on? Mm -hmm. The dark segments in this game are just... Mm, mm, they're so meaty. I love them. Anything over here? Day. We're gonna try the long way. Because I have a feeling it wants me to do the long way. We'll see how that goes. You can definitely tell where the game kind of pops out. That could be the emulator, though. Certainly possible. If I try to go up here, oh come the fuck on, man! I do not like that. Come on! I remember it being this hard to kill things? Maybe I just suck. That's probably what it is. Bup, 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 bup. I got a whole goddamn lot of those. That's great. What the fuck is up with your town? Hire some road crew or some shit. Jesus. Yeah. This is why it pays to explore. Well, not pays, I guess. School's probably my favorite segment in this game. And the hospital's pretty good too, but I think my I think the school's probably my favorite. Okay, another pit. Great! 
are we looking? I get that they wanted to have a lack of HUD, but it would have been nice to at least have your life bar there. Maybe your ammo count. I'm just saying. Damn it. Oh, fuck. I guess the only way to hit him is to maybe go ahead and take a step back and then go ahead and swing. It's the only thing I can think, because... There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Need some education, sir. Love it. Even as dated as it is, that it's so creepy. It just is. Let's see, is the map here? Yes it is. There's a school map. Take it. Alright. More Ronaldo Gordon. This must be a list of teachers. Okay. Uh, it's written in blood. Twelve o'clock. A place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues, awakening at the or ordained order. Okay. It's written in blood. Five o'clock. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. Sure. Is this arts and crafts? Ten o'clock. Alchemy laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm. The future hidden in his fist. Exchange for sage's water. I don't know who drew it, but it is certainly in bad taste. Well, aren't you the art critic, sir? I mean, you were more than happy to say that your little girl's fucking drawing was amazing. But, oh, somebody draws a door and, well, that's just tacky. Fuck you, buddy. You snobby bitch. Maybe that guy was a door aficionado. You don't know. Maybe all the locked doors in this game are his work. You ever think of that? Huh? Huh? No. No, you didn't. Motherfucker. I'm guessing this is the nurse's station. Because, well, it's a school, not a hospital. Now, remember, there's a lot that I don't really remember about this game. We only have a few minutes left. I'm going to try to make those minutes count. We'll see. Here's the thing. When a game tells me a door is locked, it implies to me that there's a key. But in many cases, no, there is no key. It's just, you know, locked forever. Because why not? Oh, it's one of you little assholes. Well, I know where you fucking go. In the goddamn trash! Fucking Rojambu, you motherfucker. tower door is locked. The hands are stopped at 10. Well, we don't want it to be 10. 
I want it to be one of those other times. Golden Sun. Okay, so apparently we got some plaques that we need to grab. Fucking great music. Is it music? I don't know that it's necessarily music, but whatever it is, it's amazing. Yeah, they move slow enough that you can... Oh, God! Really? Come on. Quit eating my dick. Just like real school. Lock is jammed. Door can't be opened. Well, actually... No, you know what? I think those doors really are locked. Well, how about that? Bully for you, Silent Hill. There are too many games that use the excuse that a door is locked. But they don't really mean it. They just mean that this door is for show. Yeah. Although, I still don't understand why there's so many fucking doors that are jammed, but hey. That's fine. We can't all be winner doors. Gotta have some loser doors, too. Get off! Get, get, no. He's like, oh, Harry Senpai! What, is there nothing here? Really? Nothing at all? Well, that's kind of a letdown. I thought there'd be something. I can't grab that? It looks like a grabbable. Oh well, it's okay. We are very, very close to being done. Just warning you now. Huh. Nothing, huh? Okay. Time to go to the stairs. For me, I always go uh, to the stairs last. Some people might like to go to them first. I really don't. Nothing inside. And it's not because I'm afraid of stairs! It's just because I, I like to sweep a whole floor first before moving on. It's just kind of how I operate. like to clear areas one room at a time, or, well, one floor at a time, when I can. Oh, grab it. Well, nothing useful in the desk drawer. I don't know about that. Oh, Harry Senpai! Yes, I'm gonna keep doing that, because it's fucking creepy. And hilarious. Really not used to interconnected classrooms. It's kind of weird. All right. Nothing, huh? <sighs> Come on. 
Come on. Alright. Well, unfortunately, folks, this uh, child zombie kicking simulator is at an end. I believe we've all played Silent Hill by now, but I at least wanted to go ahead and play it for those of us that may not have gotten a chance. So, this has been fun, but as usual, this is Gun Sage with Too Spoopy. We just played Silent Hill, made by Konami, for the PlayStation 1. I believe the copyright's 1999. Don't hold me to that, though. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, if you want to see me play more of it, just let me know. Bye!